I want to thank the permanent mission of Sweden to the United Nations for inviting me to participate in this event to promote the Sustainable Development Goals among educators and young people. I also want to thank all of you who have already shown commitment to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Your energy and your dynamism is what the world needs today. You inject fresh thinking and enthusiasm into our work and you challenge us to look at old problems with new eyes. This generation is uniquely placed to change the course of history. As Secretary General Ban Ki-moon rightly pointed out, this is the first generation with the potential to end extreme poverty and the last one able to act to avoid the worst effects of climate change. I'm so pleased that the hashtag First Generation campaign is focusing on teachers and educators and their role in promoting the sustainable development goals among young people. Alone, political regulation, technological advancement and financial instruments cannot achieve sustainable development. Education is necessary and it must be transformative and help to bring shared values to life. It must give people the understanding, skills and values they need to cooperate in resolving the interconnected challenges of the 21st century. To foster a generation that values the common good, we all need to understand how young people see the world of today. And our schools need to find ways to foster a broader vision of the future, and this does entail making educational content more relevant to contemporary life, introducing innovative and participatory teaching and learning styles. This applies to everyone, everywhere. We know that we cannot achieve the Sustainable Development Goals if we do not galvanise today's population of young people, which is the largest that the world has ever seen. Indeed, young people were the most engaged constituent in the My World campaign conducted by the United Nations to engage civil society in articulating the issues that are most important to feed into the development of the 2030 Agenda. More than 9 million people from 194 countries participated and over 5 million of these were young people. The Sustainable Development Goals are your goals and now is the time for all of us to do the hard work and implement them. We have three targets to achieve by the end of 2017. We want at least 2 billion people in our world to know about the 2030 Agenda and what it represents. That's slightly more than a quarter of the world's population. Secondly, we want to engage at least 700,000 committed activists to help promote the 2030 Agenda and to activate citizen engagement. This means empowering 1,000 people to champion the SDGs every day. Thirdly, we want a diverse coalition of organisations to spur a global movement in support of the 2030 Agenda. All this means catalyzing well-tested networks and reaching across new frontiers to drive change at local level, sharing new ways of thinking, of working and of reporting. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development acknowledges that young women and men are critical agents of change and will find in the new goals, goals a platform to channel their infinite capacities for activism into the creation of a better world. And it states that the future of humanity lies in the hands of today's younger generation who will pass the torch to future generations. We have mapped the road to sustainable development and it will be for all of us to ensure the journey is successful and its gains are irreversible. With advances in technology and social media, you can all speak out as never before. Organize, take action in your communities, Hold world leaders accountable to the agreements that they've signed up to. Fight injustice and inequality with solidarity and be active global citizens. The United Nations Secretary General's youth envoy, Ahmed al Hendawi, who is himself a millennial, is connecting the United Nations to young people and young people to the United Nations. 
He's working to open up space for the inclusion of young people within existing review mechanisms, such as the high-level political forum. He's also creating new, dynamic and engaging platforms like the Young Leaders Initiative, which will convene 17 young leaders who are working in support of the Sustainable Development Goals. So I call on all of you to unleash, unleash the fullest energy and creativity of your youth to promote these universal goals and ensure no one is left behind. The goals are a tapestry for collective action. Please help us to reach out far and wide to amplify the message of this golden opportunity. Please help us ensure that it is heard by everyone. Please help us to amplify the voices of those who are leading in their own communities. And please help us to create avenues for all citizens to engage. So I hope the results of your deliberations will help education to take its central role in helping young people to forge more just, peaceful, tolerant and inclusive societies. Education has to become relevant to answering the big questions of the day and I thank you so much for meeting at this moment to find ways to ensure that that happens.